Alright guys, this is Beerbot. I was asked for horror. Here it is. We're going to do a stupid thing for people who ask me to do stupid things. Uh, this is a game called Anatomy, written in all caps, because of course it is. Uh, apparently made by an indie developer by the name of Kitty Horror, so shoutouts, I guess. Um, I had not heard about this game until Happenstance on Kotaku. I saw some weird comment, followed a rabbit hole, found a weird website, and here I am with this ad anatomy configuration window. Um... I haven't seen a second of this game, except I booted in briefly to test the sound. Um, this game is also dark as shit, um, so I wound up turning the brightness up just on the recording a little bit. Um, the view I see is completely untampered with, so hopefully you guys will be able to see it a little bit better than uh, you were able to before. So, of pandering, let's just get to it. I am drinking, of course, as I usually am during these sorts of things. I've been drinking, and I will continue to do so until this game is behind me forever. Okay. So. Uh, we got a little staticky filter here, almost like this is a video recording or something. For some reason, it keeps getting darker and then lighter again? That's weird. Actually, that's like coming through on the feed. That's odd. Alright, whatever. Uh... There's a power outlet. Can I plug in a stove, I guess? I don't know. Wait, my... It's weird. <laughs> my monitor keeps thinking that the game is so dark that it's supposed to be going to sleep, but it keeps turning off. I guess I can just never stop moving. Oh, there it is again. Oh? You behave now. Okay, that's, um... Okay. <laughs> Par for the course in these sorts of games, the, the the choice of artwork is, um... is good, I guess. Or bad, depending on how you look at it. Okay. What's the point of all these doors if none of them open? Got a little glowy bit here. Okay. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship, buildings for socializing, buildings for protection, even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. There is a tape in the dining room. Okay. Is this a uh, sort of a hunt, hunt for tapes type situation that we have going on here? I feel very cold right now. Just I feel like I'm not about to have a good day. No. Is this I think it's the living room. Okay, well. I got a tape. So let's see what it what it says. The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself, nor regards such shelters with such reverence and import. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. A tape in the downstairs bathroom. God damn it. <sighs> Nothing's even happened yet. <laughs> okay. I was expecting like a like a basement bathroom. This is a far more agreeable outcome, I guess. Alright. This one got 
The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. To carry it further, if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. Tape in the garage. Okay. Maybe did I try this one before? See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, nothing has happened. But I'm like, I'm not. the oh my god this is a very big very dark room <laughs> my monitor is doing weird power saving stuff so I keep having to look over to my my feed to <laughs> to see whatever my camera tries to do it All right. uh, there we go So, so far these tapes are drawing some analogies between, I guess, biological anatomy and the structure of a house, so... For example, let us examine the living room. Often the dominant space of a house is ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home. The living room is very much the heart of the house. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity, communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. Tape in the living room. How uh, appropriate. I'm going to go through the dining room. A little shortcut. Working on these speedrun tactics. It is definitely long, it's definitely not coming through, but I'm hearing the slightest heartbeat in my headset. It's very quiet, but I can hear it. This wall's gonna start turning into blood, and it's like, I've been walking through veins this whole time, huh? It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. Poop the highways and corridors of a house are its veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. There's a tape on the stairs. Like, the game has given me nothing to be afraid of, and yet, here we are. Take this. And here we go. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, 
Dreams are dreamt. Passions are ignited. Epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. In the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it whilst conscious. They also fuck in there. I think the odds are that there's a bedroom downstairs. Just to keep me from ever having to go up those stairs. I might be wondering why I'm, like, doing this, like, tapping forward thing instead of just moving. And that's because I'm horrified right now. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Okay. Okay. So many rooms up here. Mosquito. Jesus Christ. All right. This is a very uh, Spartan house. Hearing that heartbeat again. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Very quiet. It's like PT all over again. Except if PT was made by one dude using Unity. Okay. And yet, this analogy is an incomplete one. For obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. <sighs> it is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. Great. Perfect. This is... This is what I wanted to do with my day. <sighs> God damn it. Fuck. God damn fuck shit. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. See the tape. Jesus Christ. Fuck you, basement. Fuck you! Okay, Jesus Christ. Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy-handed one. And often the basement is little more than a storage space, littered with the corpses of spiders and wood lice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom. The waking mind, that place of dreams, that is actually the most frightening of all. Master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's go upstairs again. Sure. See, <laughs> there's this weird back and forth going on with my brain that's like, what if this game is just bullshit? What if 
like nothing terrifying actually happens. And it's just it's <laughs> it's making me ponder these actual weird comparisons to human anatomy that's actually driving me a little bit bonkers. God, this room is as big as the basement. And my monitor went to sleep. Stop it. Okay. Okay. It got it. Uh, that was not there. Also, the door is gone. And there's a picture of teeth. It was here, in the bedroom, that we are at our most vulnerable. Each night we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time, trusting in the house to keep us safe until next we wake. In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might stand beside us, watch us, keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouth. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. What? <laughs> what? 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 What happened? What? What? <laughs> um... No. I just remembered something. Uh... That... There's a notepad file in here. That says, spoilers, play before reading. What do you think's in here? Believe you've reached the end of the game. Unsure what to do next. Slow down s slowly. Stop as people. I'm so oh my god. This is turning into some ARG bullshit. Okay. It's gonna be like, look, look behind you! Have you only run the game once? The game must be run several times for the complete experience. Okay. Let's, uh... I've actually run it a couple times for the, the sound test or whatever, but I don't know, let's fucking speedrun this shit, I guess. We'll do it once or twice and if nothing happens, I'll look it up on YouTube or something. Oh shit! That looked different. Also, I hear a sound in it near before. Seems a little more staticky, maybe. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined the era of God. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. Okay. I've stopped enjoying this now. Can we... Can you all just be cool, please?
That's not right. I'm running out of words here. I'm running out of jokes. I just don't know. Keep playing these fucking tapes, I guess. Tell me where it is. Basement unlocked? No. Garage is unlocked. I don't see the tape where it was, though. Upstairs, I guess. I don't really want to wander around the garage. Master bedroom shit got real in there last time. Uh huh. I'm like sweating. There's a tape. Oh God. I I don't know if this weird thrumming noise is coming through the uh, the stream or not, but it, it's not good. Nothing about this is good. window there before? That's not how ceiling fans work. Well, I didn't go in the garage, I guess. It is easier to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of the house, as this compares to its tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are like veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of the house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend on a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a pale, dark manner Oh. Okay. 
Okay. I have nothing to say. <sighs> I see a light in here. I feel sweaty. I'm just sweaty all over right now. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. The bedroom was perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, do, 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 do. I dream that there are teeth crawling all over me, everywhere on me and in me, like cysts or bone spurs. They're loose, but I can't remove them because I have no hands. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out, approaches, and enters through the front door. His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of corners. He's walking through the downstairs hallway and laughing. He begins urinating on the wall. He spits on the carpet. He's moving through the first floor, breaking and upsetting things. He goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. I can feel his bones snapping. The texts are bursting, oozing all black blood everywhere. I can feel them being ground up, dissolved and torn, splitting and shredding. I leave the door closed. I close my eyes and try to sleep. The teeth continue growing on me until there is nothing left of me but teeth. The basement is dark. Why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> more specifically, more specifically, why am I doing this to me? Oh my god! You know how, like, after you have like a nice long vacation at work, like a week, week and a half, something like that, and that last day you just fucking dread going back. That's the feeling I have right now about this fucking staircase. I think I just shit myself a little bit. But that's fine. Gonna open this thing again. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I can do this again, guys. Holy shit. Let's see what else is in here? in the basement and mobile with the tape player has it played its tape I guess I didn't do that yet oh my god I don't wanna <laughs> I don't I don't I don't okay okay I'm gonna 
I'm gonna pause this recording for a second and just get myself back together. Oh, I'll be right back. Well, <laughs> I seriously debated not coming back, but I came back. I literally had to go away, walk around. I played a couple rounds of Overwatch, and I think I'm okay now. So, so there's that. Um, I, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Fuck it. You only live once, right? Unless you're in a weird, creepy house. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is... Okay. This is different. Holy shit. God damn it. Overwatch was so nice, you guys. Okay. Cool. By the way, I switched to liquor. I don't think you could blame me. What the... These other... What the fuck is all this? <laughs> okay, alrighty. Yeah. Fuck it. Don't care. It's still going. Holy balls! Okay. I'm sure it's just fine downstairs, right? Well... <laughs> I'm hearing all kinds of just bad ear sounds just all over. Okay, well this isn't exactly a kitchen anymore, but it's still got this thing, so... Um, yeah, that tracks. Jesus. Okay, yep. There we go. Alright. Or I can break some fucking plates. That's... Okay, alrighty. <laughs> this is... This is all going great. Just gonna... <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. I guess we just keep looking for more tapes, huh? Well... <laughs> Wow, that is that is unpleasant to look at. Whoa. Alright. Uh let's just goes back to the living room. Dare I check if the basement's unlocked? There it is. Alright, how about the garage? Did I try that? Did I close this door? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I don't remember closing that. Here we go! Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, interesting. Okay, I get it. My cat's just like running around, frolicking, having a fucking great old time. Alright, well... Tell me what, what hurts, house. What about this situation could possibly upsetting you? Oh. Let's try the garage. That door's shorter than it was before. Oh shit, I could sprint. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and not do that, though. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing in here but us chickens. Yep, that room's still fucked up. Yep, okay, that's still there. That tape recorder's still screaming, so that's a good sign, I guess. Par for the course. Here we are. <laughs> Nothing about this is good. Why, why do we make video games like this? Or at all? Sorry. My cat's getting some interesting ideas about this rum and coke that I have. Believe it, you know? I do. Um uh, Raj? No. Here we go. Okay. Let's do it. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. God damn fuck, god damn shit. Okay. Yet again, I've talked about this feeling before. The thing you just absolutely don't want to do. Yet here we are doing it. I'm just going to follow the walls, I guess, because I can't see a goddamn fucking thing down here. Uh, 
Okay. Oh fuck. Oh. Ah! Ah! God damn it! Fuck! <sighs> this is this is a dumb hobby. This is a dumb hobby I've taken up. Why do I do this? Why? You think maybe I should change the resolution a little bit or something? I don't know. <sighs> Fuck. Alright. Whatever. I'm ready. Made with Unity. I love it. I love Unity. Um... I'm trying to move and it's not doing anything. Oh God! What happens to a house when it is left alone? When it becomes worn and aged? When its paint peels and its foundations begin to sink? When it goes for too long unlived in? What does it think of? What does it dream? How does it regard those creatures who built it? Brought it into existence only to abandon it? When its usefulness no longer satisfies them? It may grow lonesome. They stare for long hours into the darkness of its own empty halls and see shadows. And its heart may jump as it thinks, here, here is someone again, I'm not alone. And each time it is wrong. And the heart starts over. It may find itself, inventing ghosts to walk its floors. Making friends with its shadow puppets. Laughing and whispering to itself at the end of some quiet cul-de-sac. It may grow angry. Its basement may fill with churning acid like an empty stomach. And its gorge may rise as it asks itself through clenched teeth, What did I do wrong? It may grow bitter. It may grow hungry. So hungry and so bitter that its scruples dissolve and its doors unlock themselves. While a house may hunger, it cannot starve. And so, in fever and anger and loneliness, it may simply lie in wait. Doors open, shades drawn, hallways empty, hungry, well that was creepy, now what? I still can't move. Um, trying all the buttons that I know do a thing in this stupid fucking game. Give it a bit, I guess, because you know how this game rewards patience. Wait. The static stopped. Sort of. Huh? Hmm? 
Uh, still trying all the buttons. Uh, oh, that's right, escape leaves. Well, let's check this thing, I guess. Um, yep, we saw that. Are you in the basement? A mobile with a tape player has it played its tape. Yes. You've reached the end of the game when you run the program and begin the game in the basement with a tape player and nothing happens for over 30 seconds. Fuck, does that mean have to run it again? <laughs> Shit. Alright, try one more time. We wait at least 30 seconds. And then I'm done with this fucking shit forever. <sighs> so this is good. So now I have like a little timer ticking in my head. Because apparently something bad happens for over 30 seconds. Great. Let's just, uh... Let's step back and enjoy whatever the fuck that is. I don't know how I got that tape to play before, either. I was just kind of mashing keys. By having that timer tick in my head, I meant I don't have that timer ticking in my head, so I'm just going to sit here until I feel like time has progressed to the point where I can stop playing this dumb game. I mean, you think they could furnish their basement a little bit. The house only has like three couches. You think they could splurge? That was at least 30 seconds, right? Yeah, I think that's it. <sighs> well, thank you guys for watching. Um, for a $3 game, this, uh, uh, fucking terrified me. I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again. Um, I'm never going to use tape players again. Uh, I'm never going to play this game again. Uh, and I'm just going to go play a shitload more Overwatch. So, um... What the thing say? Hit delete to start a new game? Maybe that'll do something. Uh, home? Whatever. Okay. I tried to make it do a scary thing, and it didn't do a scary thing, so... Uh, I guess that's it. Again, thank, thank you guys for watching this dumb thing.